Hey kids. I think we should reintroduce scale to this because we sort of gave scale the ugly finger and then we didn't give it the invitation back. So let's play with scale a little bit. Let's get rid of rotation for a while. Uh, give scale the 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 spot in the spotlight. So here's our translation. We're moving it to the right. Um, great. Let's scale it down. Okay. So I'll just add scale here. So it's scale matrix times translation. And I want you guys to visualize in your head what's going to happen with this specific um, with this specific multiplication. Remember the order of multiplication. It gets applied right to left. So right happens first, left happens second. And remembering that scale scales towards the origin. Is the middle of the square going to move? It's the middle of the square going to stay put? It's just going to scale down, scale up? Let's see. Well, it clearly moved, right? Before it was over here, 0 0.8 to the right. It's clearly it's not 0 0.8 to the right anymore. And it's the same reason with the rotation. Scaling scales towards the origin. <clears throat> The origin being always zero, zero, zero. So, if we move first and then scale, all the vertices are gonna be away from the origin by zero point eight or something plus minus a few units. So when it scales, it's gonna scale towards the origin like this, right? Remember the the drawing I made. I closed it. I'm done. Wait, let me reopen it. Hold on. Shit. Uh, here. Here, remember this. Fuck. There. It's gonna scale towards the origin, so it's actually gonna move towards the origin as well. Alright. So, of course, here as well, we have to switch up the order we do things. We wanna scale first. So that when we move the, uh, the vertices, we still move them by 0 0.8. And now it's actually going to be, the middle of the uh, square is going to be 0 0.8 to the right. But the square is just going to be smaller because we scale it towards origin first and then we moved it over 0 0.8 uh, units. So again, order matters. Let's try scaling and rotationing. Let's see what happens there. So if I'm going to do, I'm going to do this rotation matrix. So we're going to rotate and then scale. Let's see what happens. Okay, that seems to work fine. So maybe nothing wrong here. Um, but here we're scaling uniformly, which is generally the way you want to do things. You always want to scale uniformly if you can. Uh, scaling non-uniformly usually messes up a lot of things and makes com uh, complica computations a lot more complicated. What if we don't? What if I just do like, okay, I want it to be 0 0.8 in the x direction. So I'm going to stretch it out uh, just to show you guys what that will look like. Uh, it should look like this. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to be a wide, uh, a wide boy. Uh, should have <laughs> made it a peepo. So now we have this widescreen boy. Um, and if I rotate this, I want to think about what do I expect to happen if I rotate this? If I apply rotation to this, I expect him to keep the same, you know, aspect ratio uh, per se. And it's just to move around like a pen almost. Like, you know, if this is the guy, then I expect him to use to rotate like this, right? So he keeps the same, his, say, his same aspect ratio, his vertices stay relatively the same. It just sort of rotates around the middle point. So let's see what happens. I want you guys to expect what's going to happen. Uh, not, you know, I told you what I want to happen, but what do you think will happen based on this computation, based on this ordering, where we're rotating first and then we're scaling. What's going to happen? Let's try it. Okay, so we get this weird, like shifting like it's not it's not even a box anymore like the aspect ratio is all fucked but also like 
it's turning into like a diamond and like some weird shape in between. So what's happening here? Well, it's because we're scaling after we're rotating. And what happens then is, you know, when we scale by the x-axis, we're not talking about the relative x-axis. There is no relative x-axis. When we talk x-axis, we talk the x-axis. So that means that, you know, stuff that's on the x-axis is going to get scaled out. You know, the further away from the center point on the x-axis, the further away it's going to go. So let's actually paint this. Can I open up recents? Yes, okay. <clears throat> so what, what happens is, this is the one that's most confusing, I think, and most game engines sort of patch this out in some way to make sure this cannot happen. Like, I know in Unreal, this cannot happen. You cannot even try to make this happen, while in Unity it sort of allows you to do it with, like, you know, uh, parenting and stuff. So what happens? Okay, so we have our square. Then we rotate it. So we wrote, and let's say we do a kind of a weird rotation. Let's say it's something like this. So let's just think about the x-axis, all right? So let's say, okay, we're scaling a lot by the x-axis and let's think about how that's gonna work in this case. Uh, so I'm actually just gonna draw out the just the x-axis, all right? So this could scale. This is like x-axis for this point. And let's see, this is the x-axis for this point. And you can see that these two arrows are clearly different sizes. And since we're scaling, you know, is relative to, uh, it's relative to, to how far away from the x-axis it is. This scale by eighty percent is not really that much. It's sort of like something like that. While this one is quite big, so 80% of this is actually quite a lot. So these two points with get, will get scaled by different values. So in the end, you know, we'll get this slanted edge. And that's what constitutes like the diamond shape. That's why it sort of becomes like a wide diamond. Because as it's turning, stuff down here goes further in the x-axis while this stuff is moving away from the x-axis so something that you expect to use like stretch out uniformly actually becomes very uniformly stretched because all of the points are differently aligned on the x-axis when we apply the scaling uh, so that's why we get these like slanted edges because you know it's scaling all kinds of weird stuff uh, so this is like the weirdest result, I think. This is sort of the result that you don't really see ever, made ever. Like, you know, rotating around a weird pivot, sure, you can see that in a game engine that's sort of done by attaching and stuff. But this you don't really see, and that's why, you know, in Unreal you can't even get this to happen. Uh, but still, uh, I wanted to show you guys that even rotation and scale, even though they looked benign with ordering, they are not benign. You need to take order into consideration or you will get weird stuff like this happening. So now we have arrived at the final order of the common model matrix, and that is scale first, rotate second, translate last. That is the general order of operation for a model matrix. We're gonna do translation last, rotation second, and scaling la uh, first, I mean. It's it's got it's we write it first, but it gets applied last. Okay, I kind of wish it was the other way around. It's more I think that's more readable. Okay, there we go. So now we have the white screen boy. It rotates without doing any sort of weird diamond shapes, and it doesn't change its position. So now we have the expected result of all of our transformations combined. All right, uh, and this is you know the final shape of our model matrix.